Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to talk about not being heard on your ham radio. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we get to today's content, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so from time to time, I'll get an email, uh, somebody wanting to know about encrypting something over ham radio to uh, give them a secure set of comms. Well, let me state right up front, that's illegal. Don't do it. If you do choose to do it, that's between you and the FCC if you get caught doing it. Uh, I would not advise or recommend anyone to try to encrypt anything over ham radio. In fact, let's take that a step further. If I get on my local repeater and I'm talking to a buddy and I say, hey, meet me at the grocery store, but that's really our code to meet at the cabin, by definition, that's illegal because I'm hiding the meaning of my transmission. So I don't advise that in this video and what I'm going to discuss in it has nothing to do with encryption. So keep that in mind as we work through this. But from time to time, or maybe under certain circumstances, you don't want everybody and their brother hearing your transmission. Now, if you go to any uh, preparedness website or something like that, you'll know that they all tell you to buy one of these little radios. Right? We've all seen it. They'll go so far as to tell you, hey, don't even bother getting a license. Just turn it on and use it. Uh, you know, if uh, the world's crashing down around us, nobody's going to care if you're transmitting illegally on a ham radio. So everybody and their brother has went out and spent 25, 30 bucks and bought a Balfang. Maybe we don't want all of those people hearing what we're talking about. How can we get around that? Well, there's several different means that we can use so that the Balfang or radios similar to it are not going to be able to hear us. Now, let me say this. Anybody uh, that's a ham radio operator has the proper equipment and spends about five minutes looking will be able to figure out 99% of what I'm going to show you in just a couple of minutes. But for the average guy that didn't get a license and didn't practice, he may never hear what you've said. So one of the first lines of defenses that I can recommend to you, and guys, by no means is this an exhaustive list. In fact, if you uh, see something or think of something rather that I failed to mention in this video, leave it down in the comments below. I'd be interested in hearing your suggestions as well. But first off, keep it brief. All of your communications over the radio, keep them brief, preferably on a schedule, and you want to change frequencies often. If we keep those as brief as possible, then somebody just trying to scan the, uh, the band to pick up conversations is probably not going to uh, hear us because we're not going to be there long enough for their scanner to pick up. Now, if they're using something like a band scope, well, they're going to pinpoint you pretty quickly. But then again, that's another ham radio operator we're talking about. Taking that a step further, maybe we could look at utilizing split communications. So let's transmit in the two meter band and have our friend transmit in the 440 band or the 70 centimeter band. And now if somebody does intercept that communication, they're only getting half of the conversation. Now, if we wanted to step that up a little bit and uh, you have a little bit more budget to play with, you might want to look at something like System Fusion Digital. So we could do that with an HT. We could do that with a radio like the Yaesu FTM 400D. But now if we work in straight digital mode, guys, we could use 5.2 Simplex and this radio is never going to hear it. So. There's another option for you. We move to a digital world. Anybody with an analog radio is not going to decrypt that signal. I say decrypt. That's really, I guess I should say decode. Decrypt is really the wrong word there. But nobody's going to be able to, to decode that signal. All they're going to hear is the digital hash moving back and forth. 
If you're using a radio like the Yaesu 857D or the 991, both of those radios have single sideband built into them for 2 meter and 440. So again, we can just move to upper or lower sideband, remain on the 52 calling frequency, and nobody with a Baofeng is ever going to receive that transmission. So there's yet another option to kind of obscure your comms just a bit more. Now, if we couple a radio, and we can do this with just about any radio, but if we couple that with a sound card and a Raspberry Pi, now we can move into a digital world. So we can use things like packet, and we could send APRS messages back and forth using packet with the Raspberry Pi. Again, if they don't have the equipment, they're just going to hear the digital burst, but they're not going to be able to decode our transmission. In addition to packet, we might uh, go ahead and set up something like Winlink. Winlink works very well over FM. So we could use a peer-to-peer -peer connection and send larger messages back and forth using Winlink. Now, if we want to take that a step further, maybe we're still using two meter, but we move over to single sideband. And again, we can use that single sideband to our advantage. Another digital mode that you might want to try is JS8 Call. JS8 Call allows you to leave the radio unattended and be able to receive messages uh, so that when you get back, that uh, message is just going to be presented in a pop-up box on your screen. Will it work over FM? You betcha. Is it the best way to go? Well, not necessarily. But I do have a video where I ran JS8 Call using a Baofeng, and I'll leave a link to that video right up at the top. Now, you may be asking, why have I not mentioned anything to do with HF radio? Well, there's a couple of different reasons behind that. Uh, first of all, 2 meter 440 equipment is generally cheaper than HF radios. Now, I did mention the 857 and the 991. They would give you single sideband capabilities. But a lot of this we can do with regular, everyday, under $100 HTs if we need to. Not all of it. Uh, you can't find a HT on the market that'll do single sideband uh, for less than 100 bucks unless you're buying uh, some archaic piece of equipment. But uh, current radios that are readily available and can order offline, we can't get that functionality. Another reason for staying away from HF is remember, we're not trying to be heard over a large area. So if we uh, stick with two meter and 440, we can kind of limit how far that signal is going to travel. Once we move to the HF band, even if we uh, stay in an NVIS configuration, well, we're still going to be pushing our signal out there at uh, 500 mile radius, maybe even further, depending on band conditions. So if I was trying to uh, limit who heard my conversation, I'm going to stay away from the HF bands. Also, if we're talking about uh, trying to obscure communications, I'm probably dealing with somebody fairly close by or, or communicating with somebody fairly close by. So I typically won't need HF communications, at least in my area. Uh, in my area, it's, uh, we're close enough together that I can reach you know, anybody in the neighborhood or the next neighborhood over or even the next town over using two meter or 440, provided we've got some well-placed antennas. So when we're talking about obscuring our communications in the ham radio world, we have to be very careful. We can't hide the meaning of our message and we can't encrypt it. But using some of these methods that I've mentioned to you, we can uh, obscure that message, make it more difficult for the average Joe to overhear. And we remain perfectly legal as far as the FCC is concerned. The difference is we're sending the message in the clear. We're not hiding the message. We're not encrypting the message. So it's all 100% above the board and legal. 
it just makes it harder for the average Joe running around with a Balfang with absolutely zero training to be able to hear our message. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have another suggestion, something maybe I overlooked, leave it down in the comments below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.